Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode. Now I've done some uh, quick recon uh, trying to find the user flag, but for some reason the user flag is just not here. I've not done so much. I'm getting suggestions from the chat like using find, which I will do in a second. But first we got to do the most important thing once you gained access to such a machine, which is to persist the access, right? So. The fastest way to do so is we go to slash home and see what do we have uh, for users. Let's go with Dave and Goobs, Alex. So we are going with Alex because Alex is in the sudoers. So let's go to SSH. Yeah, I can't sudo. Can I touch something into SSH? No. Okay. Maybe I can with Dave, right? No, I can't. So we got to find another way to persist our access or maybe Elevate our privileges. What groups have I? MWW data. Okay, let's do 12 var folder. And in here we have index and sparklays. Let's go to sparklays. Okay, now uh, server settings. And then we had server. Okay, yeah, we, we went there already, which is on the construction. Fantastic. All right, let's go into design. Maybe we find some other interesting things. What the design. Okay. Oh, there's a design HTML. Oh, huh? we didn't see that before. Sign, resign, slash sign, dot H. When did we get there? What? Okay, so that was just a redirect to this one. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Let's go to home, slash Dave, slash desktop. And then we have servers and CD into service. Where am I? But do I have a typo or what? Oh, wait, hang on. Is it a file? It's a file. Wait, they're all files. It's coming home. <laughs> Wasn't that like... The, the battle cry for like every World Cup for uh, England. I think they even have a song. It's coming home. It's coming home. Yeah, it's not the deer sometimes. Oh, but Alex was the one with more data. So let's go check out Alex. I mean, if we can, I'm pretty sure this is like the password or maybe just for the SSH key. Okay, there's a DNS. How, how big is this challenge gonna be if there's a DNS? But yeah, let's, uh, we have the key, SSH, and let's try to SSH into Dave. So let's SSH as Dave at old HTTP. Yes, we trust it. And the password is Dave the Rave. Nice. Okay, perfect. Thank you for your hint. I like the chat today. I like where the chat is going today. I like what the chat is doing today. I like it. What I still don't like is that we don't have anything. Can I do something with sudo? I need the password, which we have. Oh, by the way, that's, I mean, at least this is something I should document. So let's go in here. Let's go for HTTP uh, vault and we have Dave. So next time, if there is a next time, we aren't as good and solve it right now, right here. We can just log in as Dave and like skip all the bullshit we did before. Fantastic. But now we're on the next problem, which is, yeah, where the hell is the flag? And for that, we are going to try find a name. What's this called? User.txt usually, right? And then let's output to into that. No. And yeah, there's an X authority. So there might be some form of GUI. I also think that we have to like pivot to another server, to be honest. We have a DNS. We have a list of servers. Maybe we are just on like the web server and we have to pivot into the network. And let's check out servers. Ping on and on 6a, which is built for. And let's look up. Or do we have dick? I, I like dick better. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I, I hope nobody's going to clip that. And I just SSH as Dave at this one and then just grab this one and try to log in with this password. No. Okay, I think our ultimate ultimate goal is to reach the DNS. But in the way, we have our firewall. Now, those look like internal IPs, so I'm going to attack them. I suppose they're the ones I'm supposed to attack. And I wasn't able to find anything about other things. Okay, so this is refused. I just want to find A names. Maybe we find some A names and then we find some other IPs. No service could be reached, but I was able to reach it. You know what? Uh, it looks like the pin sweep is the most 
best idea. Now we get something back from one. It doesn't seem like two is reporting something. Four, we have five, which is not reachable, but it's the firewall, right? So I doubt that we can get anywhere with this. Oh no, no, I have to cancel it like 255 times. Why did I do that? It sounded like such a good idea. If you don't think about the consequences, maybe the key here is it's coming home. Nope, it's not. Maybe you can find something in the known host. Uh, what do I do now with this one? Isn't like in the known hosts usually a list with IPs and host names? We could try to tunnel it. I'm just not sure if my ARM architecture can handle it during the ECPPT. I've got nothing but problems with pivoting. Not because of the skill issue, but that's certainly a part of it, but mostly because the ARM metasploit metapredger things aren't that stable, or they weren't. There's also static nmap. Wait, we need we need some kind of plan. Rigolo ng. The one I tried was something with a C. I'm not sure how what is called anymore. I think it's kind of outdated to be honest. Okay, let's take a look at Rigolo ng, which is an a tunneling like VPN. That sounds interesting. Wait, the machine info said something about malicious open VPN configurations files and pgp decrypt god how much stuff is going on in this challenge man this really is a vault okay advanced yet simple tunneling protocol give me a minute while you enjoy the music so i can read what the hell this does and if we should use it we can create a ton interface that's amazing i think chisel was the one i used during the certification process okay i mean let's set this thing up I don't know which one we're going to take, so we're just going to build it from scratch. So you can also see the process in action. Oh, do I need it on both parties? Wait, I, I may need to read this up. Start the agent on your target victim computer. No privileges are required. I like that. That's essential for a tool like this. So I guess we're going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to compile it for our local machine. Then we're going to run it on our local machine. So we have like our server running. Then we're going to download the one for the uh, Intel architecture, start the web server to upload it to our target or victim, and then start the agent on the victim. That's our attack plan. Thank you, Nas, for the tip. And we just, do we need an agent? No, we just need the proxy. Okay, so Go is now running. So let's go build proxy. Now it's installing all the proxy things. You know what? I'm just gonna build the agent so that we download all the dependencies required for the agent. I'm not sure it's gonna help, but it's certainly not a bad idea, right? Okay. So now instead of like typing it out like a dumb idiot, I'm just gonna copy paste this. All right. So we have everything. We add our, our thing, which is on Ingolo. Boom. Invalid use of parallels. Oh. Maybe I should learn how to write parallels and we use third made in France. Okay. Now on to the next step. First of all, we need to download something because I'm living in arm space and I'm pretty sure this thing lives in Intel space. So we are just going to download a fixed uh, binary for it on the release page over here, which is a Linux. Oh, maybe we should learn what, what's up, Alice in, uh, sorry, what the fuck, it's in here, main verb A. Holy crap, it's a 413, I mean, how easy do you want it make to break? I mean, I guess this is just a web server that we don't care about, where you have to check if we have tar, okay, so we can use it in here. Yeah, I could use a static nmap binary on the target, the problem is we are dealing with, with DNS things. DNS runs on UDP and as far as I know to run UDP scans you need like pseudo privileges which we don't have on the victim but we can use our attacker machine with pseudo privileges so that's why we're doing this entire thing. I mean I think that's the that you can't but it's also just a guess. An educated guess based on experience but I may be remembering stuff wrong you know. Perfect. Okay. So it runs somehow. We will see if it works out like we want or not. I mean, now the song, song sounds more like metal, but uh, I don't mind. Let's add an cert to the target as well. And then, okay, here it's an ignore cert. Why isn't it working? 
Does this only work by a domain name? No. Oh, it does. I don't know if the static ad map binary wouldn't have been much easier than what we are doing right now. Sox proxy using SSH. I mean, let's take a look at that. That could be interesting. All right. You know what? That that looks easy enough. Let's go with that. Did it work? I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing it. All right. Perfect. So now we can sudo zip proxy chains. And once we're here, we can say in here we're one seven zero zero one, and in here we have one three three seven. And now we can just proxy chains ping. What was the IP here? Now we should be able to ping this if I can find the correct one. Okay, so I'm gonna close up a couple of things. Can we even ping with like proxy chains? And uh, you know what? Let's just do proxy chains support. 53 or let's just scan for all the ports on this IP. <laughs> now I'm starting to scan my own, my own internal network. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's doing something. I mean, we, we will get some socket error on timeout for when we don't get any connection, but we got like the port 80 works, right? So port 80 is certainly open. Port 80 is open? Why is port 80 open? Okay, let's go in here and here. We don't need you. It's called proxy trail and then what was the IP or the AT? Ooh, okay. So we have some DNS configs that we can take care of. Fantastic. Now let's just for the sake of fun, add here a new proxy. We get, hello, disable it. Uh, how can I options? The port is 137. I don't care about the type. Let's just run it. Boom. And we go with the socks one. And now we can go to 190. And actually was reset. Why was it reset? Okay, was uh, the configuration wrong? I have to say that it's the socks, obviously. <laughs> and now maybe we can access the website. It's loading and it didn't, it's still loading. Well, you know what? I'm just going to open it in a new tab. I'm not too sure if that works. You know what? Let's disable this and just boot up proxy chains Firefox because now I know for a fact that I'm using the proxy. So tell me why curl can do it. What did we get here? I'm in here. We are going to do nmap at port 80 and we're just going to call it scan question mark. I mean, over here it worked. Why isn't it working right now? Did the proxy crash? Maybe the nmap scan was too much, right? It's the one at curl. Okay, so the server is still up. I think it's uh, our proxy that's fucked. And what was the IP? Okay, it doesn't want to load. I'm not sure why. Here we get the problem loading page. Probably because I got HTTPS on. I don't need HTTPS. But here it works. Maybe I have to specify something. No, I shouldn't have to. It's not working. It should be working, right? Everything is set up correctly as far as I'm concerned. Maybe the proxy chains is on socks five or four instead of five. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll find out in the next episode. See you there. Bye-bye.